What you guys got another video here for you in this one we'll be taking a look at Acronis True Image 2021 it's the latest release from Acronis I'll also be giving away five licenses for Acronis True Image 2021 which will allow you to have one terabyte of cloud storage on five PCs valid for one year all you need to do is leave a comment down below and let me know why you would like a copy of Acronis True Image 2021 and I'll pick five people at random and that is it so let's take a look at Acronis 2021 and we'll be having a look at how you can also get a promo code where you can get 40% off if you're not one of the lucky five that get a free copy. So let's go ahead and take a look at Acronis's website here. It's acronis.com. You'll be able to take a look at what it has to offer. It has many new features which are going to be beneficial to small businesses, businesses or even home users. Now I've used Acronis for many, many years and I've seen it evolve into what it is today. It's not just a backup solution, it's a cyber security solution as well, which gives you uh, real time protection to ensure malware can never harm your system or any of your applications or data. Also, you've got on demand antivirus scans, which can check the status of your data and security at any time you want. Web filtering is also included. This is for Windows only, but it does protect your digital life from malicious websites. Now, Acronis can also protect you if you're doing video conference calls. It can protect you and safeguard you if you're using applications like Zoom, uh, Cisco WebEx, and also Microsoft Team Calls. Uh, any sort of suspicious activity and prying eyes, it can protect you from those as well when you're using. Uh, this software so we nearly got it installed on the system and all we need to do here is accept their terms and condition you can also opt in to participate in the Acronis uh, customer experience program if you wish also you will see there is an activation box here you need to paste in your activation code here and activate if you haven't got an account with Acronis you can set one up but if you already have an account because you've used their products before, you just need to put in your sign in details here. That will be your email and password and sign in. Once you sign in, you're good to go. If you've never used Acronis before, they do offer plenty uh, tutorials online. And also you can see here, it shows you exactly how to create backups. Also how to create a cloud backup and things like that as well. And it's very uh, useful to have something like this if you've never used Acronis before. Now, like I said before, Acronis is not just a backup solution. It is a cyber protection solution as well. And it's already detected that I've got other type of protection on my computer. So it doesn't want to uh, have any sort of compatibility issues. So it's uh, avoiding that by not enabling it. If you do want to use one then it's always advisable to remove the other one from the computer and just use which one you want to use. If you're going to be using Acronis, it's always best to just probably use Acronis and the protection that's built in because it is pretty good at blocking ransomware. I have made videos on that topic and you can check some of those out. So if you do want to do that, remove your previous versions of antivirus and just use Acronis True Image 2021. So let's take a look at some of the protection settings here in the active protection. You can see anti ransomware protection is on and you can use this toggle button to turn on or off. You can see automatically recover files after blocking a process. You can automatically set this to do that if you want to by putting a tick in here. Protect backups from ransomware. Also protect network shares and NAS as you can see here, to recover effective files from your network shares. We have protect your computer from illicit crypto mining as well. And also we have real time protection. So provides continuous protection from potentially harmful files and processes in the background mode. And you can have this on or off. And you can see here real time protection mode. You can drop this down to smart on access monitors all system activities, automatically scans files when they are accessed. We do have uh, detection issues here, quarantine and also protection exclusions. You can click on these and make changes. So let's just take a look at the detection issues here. 
you can see there's nothing inside here at the moment but there would be if you got some sort of detection issue also quarantined if you've got a file that's been quarantined you can then come in here and restore that if it's a known good file or delete it from the pc also protection exclusions maybe you've got a folder or some sort of um, file that you want to protect and you don't want uh, the acronis true image 2021 to mess with that file or folder you can do that here and put it in the exclusions area very simple and easy to do so let's move over to the antivirus area the antivirus area is what it is it says here actions on detection you can quarantine or notify only scan type you can set this to full or quick depending on what you want to set yours up to you can put a schedule up here and this will basically be daily weekly monthly um, and whatever you want to set it to you can see this little calendar here for monthly weekly you'll get days and also times that you can set it to and also if you want to set this up to do it daily which will be pretty aggressive but you could set that up once a day and put in your time here also at system startup or you can do do not schedule whatsoever it's entirely up to you it's your system set it up how you like you can scan archive files as well this does take a little bit more time if you do uh, enable this feature any files on the system it's going to go through and scan every one of those files you can also scan external drives scan network shares and NAS, as you can see here uh, scan only new and change files and prevent the sleep of hibernation mode and lastly we've got give priority to other applications as you can see here this decreases uh, the cpu when it's being overloaded uh, you can set that up there going into the advanced mode here you can see detected issues and you can manage these uh, this will be a, a list of detected issues that are waiting for your decision to be made on so you can come in here and make your detected issue decisions whether you trust it or quarantine it right here and this is in this section here in your quarantine area this also gives you uh, more control here you can say delete quarantine files after so many days you can put whatever days you like here you can open up the quarantined area and uh, obviously undo with some of those decisions or completely remove them it's entirely up to you protection exclusions is the same sort of thing you can set this up to how you like you can put in here exclusions to stuff that you don't want to be uh, maybe monitored or even scanned it's that simple you just add in an exclusion here that's what it means very simple and easy to do add a file or a folder just inside here maybe you've got a, a crucial uh, work folder that you don't want um, a Cronus true image 2021 to mess with you can add that in there also protection updates you can see there's an update going on in the background again you can set this up to whenever you want to do your updates and uh, basically this will keep you protected you can pause the protection here as well until the next restart four hours one hour or 30 minutes this is useful if you're trying to do a certain type of task where you might need to temporarily pause the protection just so you can uh, do what you need to do let's move on to the backup uh, tab here you can see this computer it's got my computer listed here you can rename this to whatever you want maybe main computer or whatever it is you want to name it to something more recognizable especially if you've got more than one computer on your network here also you can see we've got the computer selected here this is the source which you will be backing up so this will be the computer you're backing up and you can select the destination to where you want to back that computer up to maybe you want to back it up to the cloud which will be here and you will get a free one terabyte here and you can see we can basically back up that stuff to the cloud this will give you dual protection basically replicating local backups into the cloud automatically so you always have a safe off-site copy available to you again you can back up to a custom location if that's what you want to do and again you can copy all your data to an external drive if that's what you want to do or to a nas drive there's loads of options available if you want to click on say for instance something like this you click on here and if you're running out of storage space in the cloud and you're a bit of a hoarder and you've got loads and loads of data to up, upload 
you can do so by upgrading up to five terabytes of space, which is quite a lot. Again, you can upload this to here if it says you've reached the maximum number of computers or you've reached the maximum amount of data you can store. You can always upgrade and it will tell you how much it's going to cost you to upgrade. And that's basically it in a nutshell. Very simple and easy to do. So you'll never run out of storage. Five terabytes is quite a bit of space for a cloud storage there. So you've got plenty of options available to you. You can add a backup here by just clicking on this here if you want to. And there's that little option down the bottom here again on that little drop down arrow, which will give you add an existing backup as well. So you can do that also down the bottom there. So we've got our activity here. There's not much activity because I've just installed it, obviously. And again, we've got our recovery and there's been no recovery because we haven't recovered anything yet because we've just installed uh, this software. But that's basically how you'd go about uh, using those features. This is your archive area here. This archives all your large and old files. So maybe you've got a, a massive amount of files that you just want to free up some disk base and you can upload those through a Cronus cloud. You can do that there if you wish. And again, this is shows you how it works and you can go through this once you've got yours installed on your system and it will also encrypt all of your archives as well up to 256 bit AES, which is very high indeed. And you can pick the data center that's close to you where you want to upload it to so you can uh, get really fast speeds. So you can see here, choose your location, very simple. Also easily access your archives and that's another great feature as well. And I've showed you this in previous videos. So if you want to check those out, you can check some of my previous videos out on Acronis. Although they are the previous versions of Acronis, they still do uh, have some value to them uh, in 2021 version. So you can see it's now selected my user account here and the user account will then show you all the archived files here, which you can then choose to back up and you can select your destination and back them up to the cloud, your Acronis cloud, if you wish, and you can choose all the files, documents, music, pictures, videos, whatever it is you want to select. You just go in there and select these. And then obviously you would then upload these to the cloud if you wanted to and clear up some space on your main drive and this is quite a nice little feature so if you've got maybe photos or stuff like that that you want to back up you can do very simple and you can see the size of the archive there okay let's take a look at the sync here synchronization of all your files and folders between pcs and the cronus cloud you can do that here very simple by just clicking on the create sync and it will basically allow you to create a sync to the cloud and uh, this will uh, obviously sync to the cloud from your computer to the cloud or you can do uh, com from computer to computer if that's what you want to do here very simple and easy to do i'm not going to go through this in this video but i'm just showing you uh, some of the features that are available in 2021 version if you want to see some more tutorials on this then let me know in the comments section as well and i'll do my best to make those videos for you Going into the tool section here, we've got Clone Disk. We've also got Rescue Media Builder. This is probably one of the first things that you want to really do. Uh, first is to get the installation done and then create a Rescue Media uh, on your USB flash drive and just keep it on your USB flash drive. We've got a Cronus Universal Restore here. If you click on these little uh, exclamation marks, it just gives you the information of what this actual tool will do and it gives you a good breakdown of what it actually does and you can see here access remote computers from mobile devices by using this uh, tool here you've also got your try and decide here this is another area to perform an unsafe operation in the or try mode so have system cleanup here which is used to wipe all the history and passwords and other personal information from the computer. So that's a useful feature right there. And then moving on down to a Cronus Secure Zone here. Again, this has been around for a while, a special protection partition for storing backups on your disk. We also got a Cronus Disk Cleaner here. This is to permanently destroy all data on your old partitions. That's just like DBAN and other tools like that will actually scrub the drive clean. Additional helpful tools and development by 
a Cronus here, and also we've got all tools here to view all the tools available in this section. You've got your account here, which I'm not going to click on. And also we've got our settings, which allows you to change language uh, for the interface and stuff like that. So depending on what part of the world you're in, you can change that to suit your needs. And that is the actual overview of a Cronus True Image 2021. Clone disk is a really useful thing if you've got an old system where you're trying to upgrade from your old hard disk to a new hard disk and you can use the clone disk feature. It's a very simple and easy thing to do. You just select your drive and basically your source disk. You'd select that. And then obviously once you've selected this, you can then choose uh, the destination disk and it will then copy all that information from one disk to the other sector by sector. And then when you plug that new drive in, it will completely be exactly the same as your previous uh, version. And it's very simple, an easy way to upgrade all your systems. I've made videos on this as well. Just quickly take a look at the website here. This is your account on the website. So you can get information up here. It tells you how much more uh, storage you've got when your license expires and all that sort of useful stuff that you might be uh, wanting to view. You can renew here. You don't need to really set up new accounts. Once your uh, account is running out, you can quickly renew it here and just keep that rolling. OK, if you go to the dashboard here. You'll see all of your devices listed here. And if you've got uh, no more room here and you need to remove devices, it's very simple and easy to do. You just click on the little cog here and remove any sort of old devices from uh, the list here. Very simple. You can also recover this information also and uh, back up to these as well and start enabling the backup to those devices if you want to re-enable them. It's that simple. So you can see here, enable and recover. Super simple stuff from Acronis, as you'd expect. Been around for a very long time and probably the number one go-to tool for backing up and also cyber protection. Another great feature for Cronus is Microsoft 365 Backups. You can set up a direct cloud-to-cloud -cloud backup of your Outlook.com, Mail, and OneDrive content to keep your Microsoft 365 account data safe. Very super and easy to do with a Cronus True Image 2021. So a pretty decent uh, bit of kit to have, if you ask me. Let's go ahead and talk about the discount code that I was talking about earlier on. And uh, and I'll show you where you can actually get 40% off the latest version of a Cronus True Image if you're not one of the lucky five to get one of those free licenses. So you go to this Buy a Cronus True Image 2021. You can see I've got uh, the premium version selected here. You'd add that to your cart and that will then go into the payment cart here and all you need to do here is put in where it says click on here to enter coupon code very simple and easy to do and you just put in there exactly as you see it typed out don't worry I'll leave it in the video description so you can just copy and paste that in and once you've got it inside there you need to apply that and you will then get that 40% off discount code which is very useful indeed especially if you need a new version that means you can get your very latest version for $74.99, which is a pretty decent deal. So if you want to add some other extra, extra options in here, you can do, and you can choose your payment method and then carry on with your payment methods. Very simple and easy to do. And that will give you the uh, version of Acronis True Image 2021, the very latest and greatest version from Acronis. So if that's what you want to do, I'll leave all the information in the video description for you. Now, again, all you need to do is to leave a comment in the comment section of this video, giving me a reason why you think you should have that version of a Cronus. And I will pick five people at random and I will then reply to your comment. You can then send me an email and I will then get in contact with you. We can talk in email and I will send you your license key. Very simple and easy to do. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys. I have a great weekend, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all 
to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank <laughs> you.